statistics in Colorado that some say would back up that report. Meteorologist Chris Spears continues our team coverage. I can give you a lot of examples. We're going to focus on four. One, starting last September, when we had a week of very extreme weather here in Denver. Take a closer look. We hit 101 on the 5th of September 2020. That was a new daily record, a new all-time September record, and the latest 100 in Denver's history. And then just three days later, that pendulum swung the other way, and it swung hard. We had three days of record low temperatures and the second earliest snow on record for the city. All of that happening within five days of each other. Also last year, tremendous fires in our state. The Cameron Peak Fire, which become the biggest fire in state history, not to mention we also had the East Troublesome and the Pine Gulch. Those came in at numbers two and three, burning a record number of acres across our state. Just one month ago today in Grand Junction, extreme heat there, they hit 107, tying a new all-time high. The old record was 106. That was set way back in 2005. And in June, right here in Denver, we had three 100-degree days in a row this year, and that became the earliest instance of that happening in history. Let's go back a little further. Uh, we had the bomb cyclone just a couple of years ago with the tremendous flooding in Larimer County in 2013. We've also been through a couple of significant droughts over the past few years. One of those was in 2012. What's causing all this is up for debate, but these are just some of the facts. We'll have more for you on this on CBSDenver.com. I'm meteorologist Chris Spears.